State University, Northridge. Welcome. In this short tutorial, you will learn what lecture capture is, how to record a lecture, and lastly, how to edit your recording. A lecture capture is a great way to flip your classroom so that classroom time can be used for reflective discussion and activities. If you are using a lecture capture for a completely online class, the recorded sessions can serve to enhance your online course with a recorded lecture students can watch at their own convenience. Let's get started. To begin using lecture capture, you will need to send an email to the Faculty Technology Center requesting a lecture capture session. Send an email to ftc at csun.edu. You will be required to come in for a brief orientation in the Faculty Technology Center to go over how to use the personal capture system and following your orientation, you will receive an email to download the personal capture. Select the type of platform you're working on, Mac or Windows, and download the application. Now you are ready to begin using the Echo 360 personal capture. Open up the application on your computer. You should see this icon on the desktop or in the list of applications on your computer. From the Echo 360 personal capture launch screen, select Start Recording to make a new recording. The recording screen will appear. Pictured is a view of your desktop. The checkboxes near the bottom enable audio, screen capture, and a video feed from your computer's camera. Next, to configure the microphone screen or video, select the configure button below. Next, you will see a pop-up window with three sections, audio, screen capture, and video. In the audio section, you can choose to record from either a built-in microphone or the built-in input if you have an external microphone. From the screen capture section, screen one is the only setting available if you have only one screen connected to your computer. From the video section, you can select the quality of the screen capture. Next, select Save. To begin recording your sessions, select Start Recording. A timer will pop up counting down from five before your recording begins. If you are recording on a Mac, the recording timer will be visible in the menu bar at the top of the screen indicating how long you have been recording. To stop a recording on a Mac, use the keyboard shortcut Command plus 8 or choose Stop Recording in the dock, pull down menu, or in the application. To stop a recording on a PC, use keyboard shortcut Alt plus F2 or choose Stop Recording in the system tray or application. After you select the Stop Recording, the View Edit screen pops up. You can play back your recording by selecting the Play Stop buttons. Did you know you can also edit your recording if you position the left slider at the desired beginning point and the right slider at the desired end point? You would select the Cut button and the edited portion in the timeline will turn gray. Once you have reviewed your edited recording, you will need to select the button Apply Edits. Thank you for taking the time to watch this short tutorial. If you need any help, please contact the Faculty Technology Center at 818-677-3443 or via email at ftc at csun.edu.